Hi everyone, welcome to my show, Best Bites Forever. I'm Chef Alicia, and today I'm going to show you how to make these really delicious Guinness beer and apple glazed chicken wings. They are great for St. Patrick's Day because, you know, Guinness, St. Patrick's Day, Ireland, yeah, clovers. Okay, so this is a really delicious recipe, and I hope that you enjoy it. I'm starting off here with two pounds of chicken wings and I am adding two tablespoons of olive oil along with two teaspoons to a tablespoon of kosher salt and some freshly ground black pepper. Then I'm going to stir this up with my hand until I get it nice and evenly coated and I'm going to put my chicken wings onto a pan, spread them out so they're not touching so that they brown nicely and they are going to go into the oven at 400. So here is my beautiful Guinness beer and this is a nice deep dark flavored beer it's very chocolatey and rich and it is going to go into my pot this is an 11.2 ounce bottle and I'm also adding one quarter cup of apple jelly and then I'm going to spray my measuring cup with some cooking spray because I'm measuring a quarter cup of honey to go into the pot also and then I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of apple cider vinegar I'm going to stir all of this up until I feel like you know it's all combined together and then I'm going to put the heat onto about medium high to begin with because we are going to reduce this now as this reduces you may want to lower your heat or keep a really good eye on it because you don't want to reduce it too far. Once I have this up to a boil I'm adding just the bottom parts of my green onions and that's just going to give it a little bit more depth of flavor which is always a good thing and I'm stirring those in and kind of checking the consistency of my reduction and this is a little while later and as you can see it's thickened up it's probably been like 10 or 12 minutes ish and my chicken wings are coming out of the oven they have been in there for 40 minutes so the chicken wings cooked for 40 minutes on 400 degrees I'm taking them out and putting them into a mixing bowl and I'm going to put about half of that glaze into the mixing bowl with them and once my glaze is in there I'm just going to give it a nice little stir because I want my wings to get a coating of the glaze and then they are going to go back into the oven they are almost completely cooked and they may even be completely cooked but we need that glaze to kind of caramelize and get beautiful on there so I'm going to put these back onto my sheet pan and I'm doing it one at a time because if you kind of pour it all on there then the glaze tends to make a sticky mess if you want to you can put them on there and then go back and brush that glaze on top or carefully pour it onto each individual chicken wing that way you're not wasting the glaze but it's really a small amount anyway so here's my other glaze that's left in the pot the part we didn't use and it's perfect right now and these little chicken wings okay we're just in the oven for another four minutes at 400 again so I'm pulling them out and I'm flipping them over and I'm gonna go ahead and give them a little brush of that beautiful glaze that I just showed you that's pretty thick at this point so I have my brush which is temperature proof you know you don't want to use something that's gonna melt the bristles on here because they are hot and go ahead and brush some of that nice thickened glaze on top of that and somebody just knocked at my door but that's okay because we're gonna keep going so once I get this glaze on here I'm going to put them back in the oven for just two or three more minutes to get that glaze really beautiful check this out aren't they beautiful so these are ready to serve the next thing that I'm going to do here is plate them up so I have my bowl here and I've taken what was left of the glaze and strained it and put it into the little bowl there and I just put some green onions over top of it and it was absolutely beautiful and delicious enjoy hi again everyone thank you so much for watching my video please give it a thumbs up or a like or whatever you want to call it also share with all of your friends because sharing is caring and if you're not already a subscriber, please go ahead and click on the subscribe button and be a subscriber now because you don't want to miss any of the upcoming awesomeness that's coming because it's awesomeness. And you can find me on my other social media, including Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+, and bestbitesforever.com, which is my blog. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Happy cooking, everyone.